and welcome to your goal market update for today tuesday the 13th of september mike smith senior analyst at go markets here with your daily meander around the markets now let's see what's happening across the news wires across u.s markets close higher again yesterday following on through from last week and of course eyes are going to be on that u.s inflation data that's due out tonight that's going to occupy market minds for most of the next 24 hours depending on how it comes across U.S. futures are trading mild and higher in Asian trading, only just above neutral at this stage. And Asian indices are cautiously following that positive U.S. lead. ASX is up around 0.7% just after open. European equity futures are pointing to a neutral open at this stage. Of course, that may change before this afternoon. And if we look at the FX markets, the U.S. dollar index has continued to drift downwards from those 20-year highs. Slightly lower again in early Asian trading. Gold is trading towards the top of this $25 range it's been in for some time, nearing that $17.25 resistance. Oil hedged higher in trading yesterday, but still well under that $100 a barrel, uh, around about $94 on the Brent crude contract CFD. And copper is testing and is breaking, it looks like, the $360 resistance it's been in. As we previously reported, and the VIX has paused at two-week lows in preparation for that inflation data later. Cryptos have had a good 48 hours. Bitcoin has moved higher again towards that 24,000 resistance after breaching the key 20,000 level on Friday. Some follow through today in Asia is evident. And of course, as we've already referenced, it's US inflation number day. We've also got inflation numbers coming out of Germany and some UK jobs number being the data highlights for today a couple of charts that caught our eye today if we start with looking at the euro yen we could see that strong push up towards this 144.65 resistance uh, we pulled back down again during the course of the day to finish underneath that level but you can see we're testing it again in asia today gives us a nice trading opportunity potentially if we look at the 30 minute chart you can see that key level there that we've noticed on here. It was the highs from a couple of days ago. If we look at yesterday's trading, it got all the way up to 145.50. And we think it might be shaping up to do this again. It's pretty flat in Asia today so far. But if we start to breach that 144.65 level, we could see it up fairly significantly, possibly up that 58 to 60 pip range with maybe 145.28 being a level that it may pause at going to the upside. We thought we'd look at the ASX 200 futures contract and the reason we're doing this is it is closing in on that key 7,000 level. You can see over the last few days we've just had a nice bump up in this since the middle of last week. And if we look at how it's started in Asian trading, it's pretty neutral. Uh, but Perhaps we're going to get blocked at this 7,052 level if indeed we do see a follow through in trading today. But of course, the caution pre inflation data may just keep it under there for now until that data is out. So we may get a response tonight in this, and obviously, we'll see where it is tomorrow. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.